Alright guys, so welcome to the next episode of the Wonder Wheel Crew Mode. That is right. So, at the moment you notice Pele. Remember how I got Pele at the end of last episode? I have brought him in. He was starting at a 94, but he's already grown two ratings. To put it simply, he is a, a god tier player. Like, there is like two non-dark green stats in his mental physical. And the only non-dark green stats in his skill attributes are his defending. Incredible player and someone who's just jaw-droppingly good. We have two legends up top. That's just amazing. Just amazing to see the quality that we have in the team. To give you an idea of the players we can't have, like we legitimately it's it's just ridiculous. Um yeah, some of the players we're likely going to have, potentially, Ibrahimovic, Will Shear, Almiron. Oh man, it's just it's just nuts. Like, just the pure quality we have. I may just go hyper-offensive and just have maybe like two defenders, because it's, it's just stupid. Like, we have such a good team, and this is the game I think we want to go off in. Like, just destroy them, and just score a lot of goals and have so much fun. Which I think has been lacking this FIFA a little bit. It hasn't been as much fun, I'd say. I really loved FIFA 16 fun enough. Everybody said it sucked, but I really enjoyed the game. Um, I'm hoping next game is a little more exciting. As it's not terrible at the same time, it's just kind of like, it just could be better. In all honesty. That is right. So, you may be looking at this team in confusion. And I am too, but the plan is I am going to be playing a 3-3-4 against Bournemouth. To put it simply, we have just too much attacking talent, and it would be a total waste not to use it. So I'm going to play uh, Maldini in the sort of sweeper role in defense. So uh, yeah, we're running with a 3-3-4. We have Marquinhos, Maldini, and Musashio in defense. I think Maldini kind of could play as a center back. He's 6-2. Then we have Casemiro, Coutinho, and Rabio in the midfield. They have Neymar, Pele, George Weah, and James Rodriguez up top, 3-3-4. This is going to be so much fun to play with, honestly. Um, I cannot wait. And by the way, I feel like I've made till I didn't make the great decision in terms of the transfer window updates. Because what I'm thinking here is pretty simple. You've probably seen this before. You know Chris MD, uh, Ronald Junior's recruitment, right? How the amount of goals basically changes the amount of player he can get in terms of coins. Because transfer window... Basically, think of it as the transfer market of foot. So, therefore, my thoughts are that this is going to be from 0 to 5. If it's uh, no goals, can't bring any in any players. But from 1 goal, it's 0 to 100k. 2 goals, it's 100k to 250k. Then 3 goals, it's 250k to a million. Then 4 goals, it's 1 to 5 million. And then after five goals, it's an unlimited budget. So that's the thought there, just to really spice up these last two games. So if you see a lot of goals, that's because I'm going to be going hardcore to score. Like I'm going to be tryharding so much. Well, uh, I've hyped it up enough. Let's get into this game versus Bournemouth in the FA Cup. Ah, uh, they did not know what's coming for them. The hype, the hype is real. I mean, I feel so bad for Bournemouth. Uh, also, this this is going to be on Legendary. I mean, come on, have some decency. This is going to be on Legendary. Alright, so we're moving into the FA Cup match versus Bournemouth. That is right. So, we are running the quite unusual 3-3-4 formation, a hyper-attacking, not so much focus on defense, in all honesty. Um... But yeah, um, it's kind of ironic that I'm doing this against Bournemouth, obviously, as I did uh, a very long career mode with them at the start of FIFA, which feels like ages ago. The crazy thing to me is that FIFA's only coming out on September 21st, so there's still like a month left in this game, which is nuts. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at the two teams. So firstly, it is obviously our lineup, so uh, the only mess substitute I'd say is Mario Gaspar. And Pereira, but I just felt like I had to have some defensive certainty in case anybody did anything really bad. 
So yeah, um, Bournemouth, so they have Benek Fobe, Joshua King, uh, Callum Wilson surprisingly on the bench, and I think they're running a 4-2-2-2? Or four four two diamond. So, by the way, um, as you can see here, we are still running at three three four. Let's get into this. Oh jeez! Oh my goodness! Wow! You can see our defensive weakness. Uh, we don't have a uh, any defensive backs at all. Okay, now it's it's Pele. It's Pele. It's Pele. It's Pele. Pele, it's Pele here, it's Pele. It's the finish, oh it's in! It's in! It's a kind of crappy goal, but it's a finish. Was not who I was looking to send the through ball to, but Maldini, out of all people, runs up into the tack. Pele, his pace is just insane. And oh, it's an own goal, wow. Um, <laughs> he he would have missed that. Ah, uh, that, that was the best goal ever. There was no fluke involved. No fluke, no fluke. Okay, that was a, a solid goal. But Pele, that pace. That pace is just unbelievable to play with. Oh, it's a penalty. It's a penalty. They are great skill from Neymar. And he absolutely skinned Adam Smith there. Brilliant skill move. Neymar's gonna cut and shoot and got taken down. No doubt here, it's a penalty. And now, who's gonna take uh, the penalty? So, who scored the goal? Uh, it was nobody, actually. So, Pele's gonna take this penalty. It's gonna be Pele. Oh my god, it's saved. It's a shot, finish! Okay, George Weah puts it away. Missed the penalty with Pele, but George Weah is there to collect the finish. Bit of a questionable goal. Again, Pele probably should have scored the penalty. He didn't, but yet again, we're getting the luck of the draw. Brilliant save there, but Habio managed to come across. I wasn't even sure he was going to pass there, but... Ah, oh, the keeper! Man, this Toselli guy, he is kind of awful, but who cares? We can take advantage of a poor keeper, and uh, we can get those goals. It's Neymar! It's Neymar! It's three! And Neymar puts it away. Brilliant passing play. And Neymar, nice finish low into the bottom corner. It is 3-0. And at present, our budget for a player from the foot market is 1 million coins. Yet again, good finish. This one was better than last. Right into the corner. And from close area, a low shot into the corner is absolutely brutal for the keeper. So... You maybe would have seen him rush out, but you know what? I'll take that. It's a goal. Neymar, brilliance. Brilliance from Neymar. It's real. It's Pele. It's way out. It's way out. It's four. And Pele again. He is just broken. Just the raw pace he has is nuts it's sent through to Pele and Pele just blows by that's like Obama Yang times two kind of pace there it was brilliant just that raw speed and the goalkeeper could just do nothing way ahead just puts it away it's four nothing it's four nothing and we are only one goal away from hitting five it's Griezmann Oh, what a ball. It's Pele. It's Pele. It's Pele. It's Pele! Brilliant finish! And Pele scores the fifth. He's a little bit nervous after that last miss. But Pele puts it away and gets a debut goal. We are 5-0 to the good. And we are tearing Bournemouth to shreds. Once we got that first goal, they had absolutely no hope. I don't even know how Pele made that run. It was just so good. And, uh, yeah, a brilliant finish, Calm. He has about 91 finishing, I think, and that showed. Brilliant fin finish under pressure there. I didn't even actually put any curve on that. That was just a brilliant finish. Pele, oh, Pele, oh, Pele, oh, Pele. Great goal. And there we go, a 5-0 victory over Bournemouth. 
absolute humiliation, humiliation, and, uh, yeah, well, we sorta showed our class there, and, yeah, so, it's time to go to the foot transfer market, because I have an unlimited budget to buy whoever the heck I want. I think I'm gonna pass on legends in all honesty, uh, we have enough legends in the team, I dare say, so, um, not sure, but absolutely incredible. Incredible. What a so, I am going to be going for a player, and that player is going to be 94 team of the season, Raja Nainggolan. To say he's broken is an insult to Raja. He is a god tier card, as I believe it is. Bimonis says, Raja Nainggolan, no doubt. He's going to be the player I choose. I think I'd simply be a fool to not. Pogba was a tempting card, but he's good. But there's, to me, um, a bit of a paste and shooting deficiency. Even defending is good, but kind of meh. Alright, so guys, we're getting into the second game of the episode, and Raj Nangalan is 99 overall. I put stats in. He's insane. He is legitimately insane. He's just he's just a stunning player, like legitimately he is he is overpowered. He is so overpowered. 99. He's almost wasted in the central midfield role, but uh he's just overpowered. So unfortunately some in injuries report. So Pereira, Coutinho, and I swear there's someone else. No. And Neymar also. All three of them are injured, so. Unfortunately, this is what we're going to be forced to go with. Uh, a little bit more of a makeshift lineup, but it's uh, definitely tolerable, so it's not horrific. And uh, yeah, let's just get into this match. Hopefully, Pele is uh, fully fit, but at worst, he can uh, risk it with an injury. He probably should be fine. I guess he is going to be risking it with an injury, so yeah. Um, we're obviously playing against um, a good Tottenham team. So yeah, it's gonna be a good challenge, but I'm not I'm not risking it. Let's let's be real here. I'm not risking this. Alright, there we go. Let's uh, hopefully grab a victory and uh, have a good performance. It was kind of fun playing that 3-3-4, but you can't afford to do that against Tottenham. Like they're just gonna expose you. So guys, we are getting into the next match of the episode. We are playing against Tottenham on transfer deadline day. That is right. So. It's going to be a very, very good challenge against them. So, they're a quality squad. They are a quality team. And, uh, someone who you never really look forward to facing. Uh, surprise though, Michel Vorm is in goal, which is a bit of a shocker given the team that we have on offer at the moment. But let's take a look at the teams. So, firstly, we're going to be taking a look at the lineup of yeah they're not gonna show the lineups great all right um let's just get into the game oh raja it's raja what a save by vorm it's maldini maldini it's off the corner and Paolo Maldini heads it in to the back of the net. That is right. We established a 1-0 lead. Pretty happy with that. Uh, very good goal. Great header. Forced a good save off the line. And then Maldini just had a completely empty net to put away. There, there was just no chance that was being saved. And uh, very good. Very pleased. Nice to see. Yeah, we established a 1-0 lead. And there we go, it's half time. Okay, so it's uh, 1 0 at the moment. Pretty pleased with that. So, see, no need to make any changes, really. Actually, I may take off Hamas again. I j I j I'm just not a fan of how he plays. So, thinking. Um... Usman and Dembele on the wing. I was thinking about Ibra, but. Mm. He'll play Ibra as a left winger. I'm not sure. He's flexible, though. Shot long! Oh! Yeah! Oh my goodness, that's bad. 
And this is why we really should have got a second goal. We're going to have to push now. We're really going to have to see what we can do. We got away with missing the chances, but um, we're getting caught here. Oh my... Butland! Butland! Okay. Casemiro and Griezmann are going to come off, so... Thought it was Griezmann for Wilshire, and then I'm going to do something uh, a little nuts. I'm going to put Ebra on for Griezmann. It's the way, uh... It's Dembele, it's Dembele! It's way out, way out! I mean, Dembele puts it away! It's Usmane Dembele! With an extremely solid finish there, right into the side netting. Really good pace there. Too tight of an angle, but a brilliant finish into the side netting. Usmane Dembele! Great finish into the corner there. We were really in a pickle, and uh, Usmane got us out of it. It's 2-1, let's not be stupid here, let's let's be smart. And there we go, a 2-1 victory, a narrow, tough victory over a great Tottenham side. But that's it, it's a 2-1 victory, we deserved it. And yeah, extremely pleased with that, and uh, that's a great way to end off the episode. So, we got two goals, so we are definitely able to get a very decent player. Um, not sure who, I believe the limit for us is around 250k, so... We won't be getting the world's best player, but definitely not the world's worst player. Alright, so after a lot of deliberating between him and Hungman's son, uh, Gareth Bale is who I'm going to be going for. So he technically is under 100k, but to me he's just such a good player, ideal off the bench. I love Ibra, but basically he has Ibra's strength and way better pace. So I've spent way too long deliberating. Gareth Bale will be moving from Real Madrid to the legendary, all-conquering team that just got back to the Premier League, Newcastle United. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and yep, I will see you guys later. Peace!